Hey phone dogs, BowHD here, and I went ahead and downloaded the public iOS 9 beta, which I will have an overview video of very soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. But one of the main new additions in iOS 9 that I wanna take a first look, an exclusive first look at, is the Apple News app. So this is it, when you first open it up, you have a welcome message that pops up discussing just how personalized these sources of information are, and that over time, the app will actually become even more personalized. The next page is the disclaimer that says, you know, this is a beta. It's not the final build, which will inevitably have more sources than these sources that are listed here, but you are asked to pick some of your favorites and they list a good number of sources. We have Time, National Geographic, Bloomberg, uh, Wired. The list goes on and on. And once again, the list will continue to grow in time. Now we also have an option to send news directly to your inbox if you would like, but I decided to pass on that for right now. It'll then start to prepare your news, and this actually froze for me and wouldn't load after several minutes of waiting. Uh, if this happens to you, just go ahead and close the app and reopen it, and you'll be good to go, and uh, you'll be taken to the For You section. Now, first of all, this app looks really similar to Apple Music. You kind of have that uh, simple white theme going on here. We have several tabs on the bottom, the For You, Favorites, Explore, Search, and Saved tabs. The For You tab has all of the news articles best suited for you and your interests, or in this case, me and my interests. We can then go ahead and tap on an article, and depending on the article, there might be a video associated with it, and it'll be up top. And then you can go ahead and continue to scroll down and read through all of the information. Some of the articles have pictures embedded in them. Uh, overall, it's a very simple layout. The font and spacing is very nice and you can easily slide to the next article either by swiping left or right. If the news source isn't 100% compatible with the Apple News app right now, and isn't one of the five mentioned in the beginning, the full article won't actually be included here in Apple News, and you will have to click on the link at the bottom of each article to read the original story in its entirety, so just keep that in mind. The Favorites tab is pretty straightforward. These are where all of your favorite sources of information will be, and these are the ones that I selected when we first got started. And you can tap on whichever favorite source to get the latest information from that source. Explore is a section to discover and browse through sources that I didn't add to my favorites. Now we have suggested channels like uh, Daily Mail, Huffington Post, and BuzzFeed News, and then there are suggested topics like entertainment, politics, politicians, etc, etc. There is also a category for just about any sort of news you can think of, like travel, arts, business, sports, food, tech. It's all right here, so you can check that out too. Next to that, we have the search section. I imagine I'll probably use this a lot more than the explore section because it's quicker and I can be a lot more specific. You can search for anything and find news about whatever it is. Some suggested searches include photography, software, wine, baseball, education, graphic design. The choices are endless. The last tab is for saved news articles. Maybe you're in a rush, you're on the go, or you just want to reflect on an article you read earlier in your day. You can save each and every article in Apple News and read it later. And what's really neat is that there is a history section. So if you don't save an article for whatever reason, but you want to go back to the article and try and find it and quickly read over it again, and you don't want to search the web, you can go to the history section and find it right here. If you don't want it to save your history, you can always turn it off. But this is Apple News. It's a little bit buggy right now since it is in beta and there's not a ton of fully supported sources just yet. But uh, overall, I really do like this app. I'm always reading news and I'm always on the hunt for a clean and simple app for which to browse top stories. So I'll probably most likely be using this app. Let me know how you like this app by leaving me a comment down below. Uh, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the looks and the feel of this app. As always guys, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next one. See ya!